Hello, Internet. I'm Mr. Shark the Shark Puppet, and this is Shark vs. Anime. Get ready for a lifetime supply of heartbreak and amnesia, because I'm reviewing Golden Time. Let's do this. Golden Time follows a group of college students as they go through some fairly typical romantic drama storylines. Most of the story revolves around the central couple, who are a pretty damaged pair of protagonists. The guy fell off a bridge a few days after graduating high school and suffers from amnesia as a result. Meanwhile, the girl got brutally shot down by her lifelong crush and suddenly finds herself without a plan for the future. Sounds like a healthy couple to me. All kidding aside, the characters do present with us with two interesting takes on the idea of being a different person as you grow up. Amnesia Dude is torn between wanting to get his memories back and being afraid of losing his new self in the process. Meanwhile, Breakup Girl struggles to assert her identity in the wake of being rejected by the person she built her life around. As a character study, Golden Time is actually quite fascinating, but like its main characters, it's got some major issues. The main problem is that the story and characters are all presented with the subtlety of an atomic bomb. You know how the characters in an action show have to talk about their special powers so the audience understands what's happening? Well, Golden Time seems to think it needs to do the same thing with human emotions. Instead of, instead of showing us, rather, how people feel, the series constantly has them come right out and say what's on their minds. For crying out loud, there's even a ghostly version of Amnesia Dude's past self who hangs around and explains his backstory to the viewer. I keep waiting for the guy to turn around, see his ghost self, and ah, Ghost Shark! <sighs> anyway. Despite all these issues with presentation, Golden Time still offers an interesting perspective on some common character archetypes. If you can put up with the sloppy direction, it's worth giving the show a try on the Anime Network or Crunchyroll. Otherwise, you're better off re-watching Toradora instead. That's all for this week, but I'll be back next time with a super heroic review of Samurai Flamenco. In the meantime, check out SharkPuppet.com for more stuff. If you like what you see, tell your friends or followers or subscribers or whatever it is you kids have these days. Yeah.